now our instance is up and running now we'll see how we can connect to this private instance using a compute vm so let me go back to our slides so we completed our first task to create private cloud sql instance now we'll see a second task how we can do it so here i'll be following this architecture diagram so what i will be doing so i am creating a compute engine vm that is a gcp vm instance so first i'll create a linux and using linux vm i will use a mysql client to connect to my a private cloud sql instance so this yellow i forgot to mention it is a single vpc so all this compute vm and your cloud sql instance should be in the same vpc so that's why they are able to communicate using the internal ip so add your compute engine vm also having only a private ip i am using a iap here if you are not using a private ip to your compute engine vm you don't need to use iap you can directly log in using a external ip and managing the firewalls so it's up to you how you want to keep it as a compute engine so it can also refer to as a jump vm because you are using this as a jump vm to access your private cloud sql instance okay so either you can use a iap and keep it most secure even your jump vm and you can access a private cloud sql instance but as i recommend always keep only a private ip do not use a external ip so now let me go to the cloud console and i'll following complete setup in this video i did not perform any step before this video so i'll do everything for you on this same call and if you are facing any issue we'll troubleshoot that we'll solve that and we'll try to access our private cloud sql instance so let me go to the vm instance page okay so here i do not have any a vm instance so let me create one a vm instance here i'll be using a debian linux distribution here i'll just give the name jump linux so i'll be creating two one is a uh, linux and another is a windows so let me keep as it is a debian one let me go to a network and i will use a same vpc where we created our cloud sql instance so we created in a database vpc so i will be using a same a database vpc and definitely i will not use our external ip i'll keep it secure as a production environment and i'll simply okay let me add tag i guess i'm using tag for my firewall let's see if not we are good so if you do not have a external ip you have to enable a iap to log in into your virtual machine i have created separate videos on iap how to enable iap and how to log in into a vm instance without external ip you can refer that video but if you are using a external ip then you don't need to enable iap for this let me show you the firewall i created for iap if you are using iap you have to create one firewall rule from a google predefined range to allow traffic on 22 port for linux and 3389 on your windows vm so here you will see i have created one iap access firewall and it is allowing traffic from this range so this will be fixed for complete a google tunneling so this won't change you just need to mention port 22 and 3389 okay and i am using the target tags that's why i added the target tags okay so now let me try to log in into my instance okay i am logged in without external ip using iap so let me now update the package so one thing to remember here if you are using only a private ip and do not have external ip you will face an issue here while updating the package as your vm instance do not have any internet access so either you can create a nat here so i have already created nat let me show you here so nat is used to access internet on your vm which do not have a external ip 
if you have external IP you don't need to use a net so I created a cloud net so this is very simple to create a cloud net simply click on cloud net and just follow these steps so suppose I am giving the name net network I will select my database VPC region I will select so I already have in US central one it won't allow so as all if it is not there it will say a region name and then I can use a router so it is a very simple to create a net so I already created here in my VPC so you don't need to create now so once packages are updated let me expand it okay so first let me check if I have a mysql client here okay so it is saying a mysql version not found now let me install a mysql I need to use sudo so one thing one common mistake I can see even I made the mistake I am using a mysql hyphen client but actual name will be default mysql client okay let me run it okay so it is installing mysql client here so it will take couple of minutes okay it's completed earlier so now let me see the version again okay now it is showing mysql client is installed now how we can connect using this mysql client to our cloud sql instance so for that i will use a uh, mysql hyphen h it is for host name and i'll be using an internal ip address of my mysql instance so let me go and get the internal ip so this is internal ip this is internal ip and here i will be using a root user so i will use hyphen hyphen root and hyphen p so it will prompt for password so let me enter and it is prompting for password and let me enter the password which i set while creating the instance okay and here you can see it's connected your mysql connection id is 2427 and let me see if i can see the details so i'll just turn show databases okay and it is showing all the databases let me create one database so i'll just create create test create database test okay and let me show again if it created test database yeah it created a test database so we are able to access our private cloud sql instance using a linux vm inside the same vpc so thank you for watching this video and in next video we'll see how we can connect to a cloud sql instance which will be private using a mysql workbench on a windows vm so Let's see in the next video.